How does car insurance work? How's it going, everyone? I'm Deontay Burden, aka Mr. Shaw Donald himself, and I want to make a quick video uh, for you guys to explain exactly how car insurance works, what car insurance is, and I think everyone that operates a vehicle that owns a vehicle needs to know the basis of what car insurance is and how it works. Um, first, when we start off, what is car insurance? Car insurance is a type of insurance that helps protect vehicle owners from financial fallout in the event of a car, car accident, theft, vandalism, or other incident involving motor vehicles that result in property damage or bodily injury. Most, car, most policies cover three things, that being property damage or the, or the theft of that vehicle, legal responsibility to cover injuries and property damage to others, and lastly, medical expenses related to injuries resulting from car accidents. How does car insurance work? Again, one just look at how the rates are impacted. You know, car insurance is priced to spread the financial risk between you and your insurance company. Lower coverage limits or high deductibles usually means you pay less in premiums in exchange for bearing more financial liability for out-of-pocket costs in the event of an accident. So theoretically, that means if you have a higher deductible, that's what you uh, you will pay the insurance company in the event of an accident. You will have lower premium amounts. That's what you're paying for the policy. So if you have a small uh, uh, a smaller deductible, that means that your premium will be much larger in those payments that you will pay throughout the policy. And we look at this little grid right here. What impacts rates? Uh, the smallest being occupation, then credit, location. But you see as increases, some of the more prevalent causes uh, that can affect the car insurance rate, that being the driver record or claim history, age and matter of st uh, marriage status and gender. So this is a quick little synopsis of what those uh, factors are that could imp impact the car's uh, insurance rates. The different types of insurance, you have liability insurance, is usually state mandated, includes two different types, bodily injury and liability and property uh, damage liability. And I don't know if every state, but I think most states in the union do uh, uh, at least a minimum for drivers or owners of a vehicle to have at least uh, liability insurance on their cars. Bodily injury liability coverage, that being provides for expenses related to injuries or death to other drivers or passengers in an accident, which you were at fault. The next one being collision coverage. Instead of covering the cost of damage to someone else's car or property accident, collision insurance protects the value of your vehicle by paying for repairs or replacement. And then you have comprehensive insurance which pays for all the other things that, that can uh, do damage to your car that aren't related to auto accidents, such as natural disasters, theft, and vandalism. Me personally, <laughs> uh, I live in a wooded area, so I hit a couple of deers over the years, and it's uh, been pretty helpful <laughs> to be helped out you know, with the comprehensive insurance on those vehicles. Uh, again, some other different types of insurance. Uh, Underinsured or uninsured motorist coverage. Many states require under, uh, underinsured or uninsured uh, insurance in case you're in a hit and run or other vehicles with a driver who doesn't have car insurance or enough insurance coverage to offset their liability. You got pers uh, personal injury protection, PIP. In no fault states, personal injury protection is often required to cover medical expenses, funeral costs, or lost wages for you or your passenger in the event of a car accident regardless of the fault. Then you got med pay, that's medical payment coverage. Although it's optional, a handful of states require medical payments coverage. The insurance covers medical bills in the event of an accident, but doesn't reimburse uh, but doesn't reimburse for lost wages or other expenses related to car accident injuries. And you got six standard types of car insurance, that being liability, we talked about before, collision, comprehensive, PIP, med pay, and underinsured. Some additional options are, you know, and uh, typically when you're uh, listing for the coverage of your insurance, uh, sometimes you may uh, feel like you don't need it because it may add another five, ten, or twenty dollars to your policy. But in essence, a lot of them do help. One of uh, one of the most common ones is just roadside uh, roadside assistance. I don't want to get tongue tied. You have a flat, locked door. You need a tow. Emergency roadside insurance has you covered. You got medical breakdown, uh, mechanical breakdown insurance. If you need a little cushion for car repairs that extend beyond your car, manufacturer's warranty, medical breakdown insurance covers failures of major components like engine and transmission. 
Do you have rental reimbursement? If your claim is covered, this add-on insurance covers the cost of a rental car while yours is being repaired or replaced. And remember, guys, these are just additional add-ons that you can add to your policy. Uh, a lot of times, you know, it's not needed, but if something happens and you do need it, it's you, it usually pays for itself. I'm just be honest with you. And the, uh, the funny part about it, uh, these type of insurances, uh, you may only use them um, every blue moon or whatever, but when you do incur the cost, they, like I said, again, they typically pay for themselves. New car replacement, when a car is totaled, new car replacement insurance kicks in to replace your vehicle with one of the same, well, of the same make, uh, make and model. And this is one that I've done videos for in the past of being gap insurance. If it costs total, gap insurance bridges the financial gap between your car's actual cash value and what you owe for your car loan. This is very important because, guys, one quick tip that I wanted to say about gap insurance, and I talked about this on the video I made. Typically, if you get gap insurance, a lot of times if you finance a car with a purchase, they'll ask you, do you want gap insurance then? I don't recommend you getting gap insurance with the purchase of a vehicle. Um, well, finance uh, as part of the vehicle. Would I always recommend you purchasing gap insurance from an outside insurance company. And the reason being, because as your loan balances decrease, it should decrease at some point almost to the, in relation to the value of the car. Typically, when the car is newer, there's a big disparity, i.e. a gap between the value of the car and what you owe. Usually, you owe more than what the car is worth. But as the years go by and the loan decreases and then the value is decreasing as well, but they kind of be close together, it, it, you can you can uh, actually stop the gap insurance then because you're right at the cost of the, va uh, the value of the car in relation to your loan balance. But if you get a chance, go to... Um, look in uh, my video library and look for the video uh, that explains what gap insurance is and you know gives a much more in-depth explanation of gap insurance along with uh, examples as well. Usually what isn't covered. What it usually isn't covered is personal property including electronics, jewelry or cash, car maintenance and general wear and tear, aftermarket, aftermarket modification of car accessories, damage or injuries caused by unlicensed drivers, damage or injuries incurred during criminal use. And what happens if you don't have car uh, have coverage? Look at Poe fellow. Driving without car insurance is illegal in almost every state and can carry hefty fines, license suspension, or even jail time. Additionally, if you're in an at fault car car at fault car accident, you'll be personally and financially liable for any vehicle damage or bodily injuries that occur as a result of the actions behind the wheel. If you if you do not get caught driving without car insurance, if you do get I'm sorry if you do get dri caught driving without car insurance and your insurance reports a lapse in coverage to the state, you might be asked to obtain an SR22 certificate. This certificate of financial responsibility will almost certainly result in an increased car insurance rate, as you'll be classified as a high risk driver for up to three years in some states. So in most case scenarios, guys try to have minimal coverage. I know at the end of the day, you know. Um, you know, with the with the economy, things can seem high, but let's just have at least just the minimum coverage that you need to have for your vehicle, so you don't get in any kind of bad situations. Because we all know, no one gets in trouble on purpose, and bad we don't have bad things that incur us on purpose. Listen, guys, for more great information just like what we just discussed, go to Mr. Short Dollar on YouTube. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. You know, Mr. Short Dollar, we talk about personal finance, entrepreneurship, real estate investing, and business. There are thousands. Of, there are over a thousand vi uh, I'm about to say vehicle videos on the YouTube channel for you to take advantage of. We have an active grants playlist with over 150 grants at any given time. We cover business operations, business finance, and business management. Like I said, as always, to take advantage of all the great information that's on the channel and all the great information coming down the pipe, hit that dollar sign in the bottom right hand corner to subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell to get a notification each time we upload a new video. Thanks for tuning in. Take care of yourself, guys, and I'll talk with you soon.